This guy behind me is a douchebag. Hey, scooter guy, 49cc. Nice. You know when people advertise like their quirkiness? They're never that quirky. They're never that unique. It's kind of like the people that always get tattoos because they're trying to tell people that they're unique, but in reality, they're just the same as everybody else. That's what restaurants are doing in COVID times. They're taking up a whole lane of the street. I guess I don't blame them. Oh, that's a nice FJ Cruiser. I think if I was to get an off-road vehicle, I'd definitely get the FJ Cruiser. Now there's a guy here with a Versys 300 right over there. And I'm kind of looking forward to higher or bigger suspension scooters man because like these roads are just so terrible what's this car doing what's going on buddy <laughs> i'm telling you riding this thing is just so much easier than riding the super 10 ray the super 10 ray is kind of like a pr production getting in it it's so high and tall and big and heavy this thing is like the complete opposite and I think that's why like I need or riders should have a scooter in their arsenal if you live in a major city even if you don't having something like this is just so much more fun once in a while it's just kind of like you don't have to shift gears you don't have to put on your motorcycle boots you can just like ride you know and a 150 like this is surprisingly quick and surprisingly fun look at that house on the left over there oh you know what that's an embassy yeah i don't know what is that turkish embassy it's a pretty quick little ride it's so funny that a 150cc is all that you need to kind of get through DC and probably New York and like big cities you know of course when you get out in the countryside something like this is probably not very good you know it's not good for the highway so if you live outside of any major city then a little scooter like this doesn't make a lot of sense but man around here this is more than enough for for getting you to work and even like some play on the weekends you know, if I had a 150cc like this in Europe, I'd probably use that instead of my Africa Twin. It's so much easier. And of course, you know, in Europe you pay based on the displacement of your motorcycle. So it's kind of nice to, to have something small. And of course, uh, in Europe the gas is just so much more expensive that it just doesn't make sense to pay for a motorcycle for a commuters but I have seen people commuting on GS's and stuff you're getting 40 miles to the gallon you know, the bigger the engine the more it consumes and I think that's the beauty of the NC700X it's like scooter like mileage in a 700cc motorcycle it's probably one of the better commuters that you can get normally I don't go this way very much but this is kind of like the new Silver Spring. Silver Spring should really be called Little Ethiopia. Slego Creek Parkway, 25 miles an hour. I'm going at yeah, 35. I do have to look at the forks on this thing. They are terrible. I wonder if I can get maybe a heavier oil and put it on because that really helped the suspension on my Yamaha C3 and man when you ride a lot in these sort of conditions you know like these speed bumps and stuff it helps to have something more soaking action suspension on scooters it has never been great until you get into the higher end sort of scooters like the Silverwing and the T-Max and stuff okay. you know whenever these guys turn right I'm actually not sure if they're going to be going straight one time I was driving a car and it, they did that too they were signaling but they decided to go straight last minute 
and I collided with him and I was at fault because I didn't yield so that is one of the issues with and on a motorcycle if I was on a motorcycle I'd be hurt so you're better off just kind of letting the pass um, whenever there's a car signaling to get into your lane or your road as you are kind of coming out uh, sometimes I don't I don't trust them I am very weary of especially if they're going fast you know if they're going slow okay sometimes they can stop and if they do hit you there's going to be a lot less damage but I prefer just letting them pass or letting them turn because a lot of cars they decide last minute you know what I don't like is the self entitlement of some drivers and even motorcycle riders you know if I'm on the left lane and my exit is right there I'm not gonna swing from my left lane to the right lane to the exit I'm just gonna go straight make a u-turn but there are people that I've seen have hold, held up traffic in order to make right turns from the left so if people just bend to their will I actually refuse to do that so if that's the case I actually will make it a point to not let them and to honk at them as much as I can and this might seem rude to you but I don't do it in a rude way I do it well I do it in a rude way but I don't do it out of malice I do it because I want you to be shamed and you know I don't want you to be shamed and like lose your job sort of you know liberal sort of um, way I just want you to be a little bit ashamed next time you do that because you need to be thinking about other people and not just yourself that those sort of moves really annoy me I don't know why you know the people that stop in the middle of the road so they can make a left or a right and everybody has to like dodge around them yeah you know just honk the living crap out of them the only reason you need to be stopping on a road like this is if your motorcycle or car breaks down nothing else you see that this bike gets around pretty well you don't need anything big to get to work I used to think oh yeah you need a big bike the Super 10 right does have an advantage over this and that is the reliability not that this one is unreliable but with a small engine it's much more stressed than a you know a big engine these little engines I don't know man maybe they get 60 70 thousand miles 80 thousand miles maybe a Super 10 right it's like 200 200,000 miles so that is kind of a nice feature well squids thanks for riding with me i really appreciate it and i want to see you in the next video bye uh, let's see if i can make this light green 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 oh i didn't make it oh bastard i could have made it <laughs> i'm kind of stuck here the cops won't bother me